just the energy vibration lays in for um, the um, Libran Sun Moon Horizon sign I want to say thank you for being here please remember to likes and share these videos and listen to the monthly reading they're all um, upload okay so please listen to your Sun and rising monthly reading and the general readings because sometimes in the general readings there's information that comes out also for you guys it is the last week of May this week is the 22nd week so it is a week of duality everyone is going to be feeling this so be aware of this energy of the week is the energy of the lovers and not a duality week so there's going to be a lot of situation that is going to be happening with relationship in relationship whether business relationship or friendships the zodiac energy is um the hair so this is wonderful okay so the week begins on the 24th until the 3rd of June let's see what is happening for you guys on Monday some of you are going to be walking away from a situation this is an emotional situation that you're going to be walking away from and this could be the Queen of Cups so it could be a situation that some of you men the um, um, decide to walk away from your wife that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or um, um, a situation where it's on the work floor where you're turning your back on a situation that is going on with your supervisor or boss and it's obviously on the work floor because work came out so you know you, you you decided to leave a situation behind something that has to do with someone that is a Pisces cancer or a, cor a scorpion okay then we have the energy of the two of cups you're going to find something much better and you are going to be connecting much better what I'm seeing for you guys is um, an emotional week some of you um, in your private lives and some of you on the work floor some of you are going to be finding love on the work floor and I can't stress on it don't do it because it never ends well okay money is coming in a lot of work with relationships is needed so before you guys are going to walk away from your relationship you need to work on your relationship sometimes we only need to communicate we don't need to walk away from it we just need to communicate and let the other person know what we want there's going to be some conflicts and <clears throat> some of you are going to be having conflicts with a queen of cups whoever the queen of cups with um, it's at work in the middle of um, the week um, you people are going to be having some conflicts um, the energy of the four of wands the energy of the four of wands but this is a positive energy um, if you're looking for a house if you're um, if you're looking for to go and um, be together to uh, to live together with someone it's going to be positive this could be your kids is returning home or this could be that you decided to give up your um, place and go live with your partner or your partner is vice versa okay but this is um, a very positive thing some of you are going to be entering a new um, work um, situation and it's going to be very very good for you okay the five of cups and um, whatever regrets you had in the past this is going to be okay whatever the regrets that you had in the past it's going to be okay okay some of you had a situation that you were dealing with you had regrets in the past this is going to be okay okay all righty let's see what is happening in the beginning of the week it doesn't have to be in the beginning of the week because it's a general energy is for everyone it could happen at different um different times in your life and um, we have um, you decide to you know move away from something but this is good because whatever is happening you have number 88 and this is a positive energy you have two eights and this is wonderful so whenever you have two eights is infinity um, abundancy and this is really really wonderful to have the two eights beside each other in the beginning of a week so 
and you people could be getting you know a surprise of something okay some of you are going to decide to move away from a relationship if you are in a relationship with somebody who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, it can be a woman or a man you're going to decide to move away but before you do that sometimes it's better um, to um, um, you know talk about it talk about it before you move on okay whatever it is talk it's good to talk communication you guys have to do with the um, king um, the king of ones okay so it is as if some of you are going to be moving away from this person because of an effect that um, someone it could be your mother and father that you're moving out of house some of you could decide to move out of the house with your mother and father because I've seen the energy this is you know if your father is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and your mom is a Pisces cancer or scorpion some of you could be deciding you know to move out of house and build your whole life you know and this is and this can be good for some of you some of you are going to be connecting leave this this water sign person the spicy cancer or scorpion to connect with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or obsolete person okay it can be some of you could be realizing that um, whoever this person is I've been seeing a fire sign person and that sort of a thing whatever the situation is uh, let there be peace okay this is a karmatic situation um, whatever situation is transpiring with the spicy cancer or scorpion is a karmatic situation there are conflicts that is happening and this conflicts could be affecting some of you on the work floor and this conflicts could be something of a karmatic situations because what people do not understand is that whenever you work in a company is that you're clearing karmatic situation with either the people in the company or if you or someone who works as a customer service you are clearing a lot of karmas with other people that's why you're working with so many groups of people okay so when you get these really annoying callers and that sort of a thing you did the same thing in a past life with that person yeah light bulb moment Mm -hmm. that's how you clear cameras with people okay so next time you get that annoying caller do not just put them on hold just deal with them in a very positive way and you know if even you have to count and put the phone on hold and count to 10 you then you will just clear that karma but if you are going to put the person and then set them over and someone and that sort of a thing you're creating more karma so whenever you get um, you know someone who's just so very annoying then you're just going to deal with them and think oh my god because uh, they're gonna say thank you after that really yeah you know and they might give you a good customer report also whatever is happening on the work floor some of you are seeing something okay so apparently there's a little romance on the work floor some of you could be seeing that um, some of you could be seeing why is it that some people are um, opportunities are coming to some people and not to you because I'm I'm realizing this that you know there is a favoritism that is going on so be aware of this and don't feel bad you know it's it's okay your t your time will come and I know especially when people are looking for work and, and you're thinking yeah your time has come you don't understand I do understand people but it's okay all right it's okay um Friday Saturday whatever is happening you're planting something and this whatever you decide um, to work on and to work at um, Monday Tuesday and Friday it's going to be working out good for you so let's say Monday Tuesday and Friday and Saturday you decide to start something or do something or do a study or do something or clean the house finally you have time to clean your room 
it's going to work out whatever it is whatever you decide to do um, it's going to be working out because you're starting to plan the situation you're saying to the universe look I'm gonna do it whether or not you know <laughs> as, as if um, um, I always do my reading on Friday night I have like this day where a lot of things came through and I'm like I can sit watch television go in that deep or I'm just gonna do my readings so that I can sleep late tomorrow and this is exactly what I'm doing and this is so wonderful and you know there's a lot of people do not understand by I am doing these energy readings for you people it's you know it's helping me just and it's helping myself not me that's bad English as helping myself as it's helping you because what is happening is that I'm healing myself because instead of I'm going to get in a quarrel with someone or get in I'm like you know it, it's, a, it's a waste of energy you know my son always said mom you can't um, talk to stupid people or you can't deal with stupid people and that sort of a thing but in the sense is that you know whenever you are seeing people bringing up confrontation it's best just to walk away you know learn to turn your phone off learn to turn your phones off and take five minutes break it is good to really energize yourself okay in the weekend some of you could be having conflicts whatever this conflicts is about in the weekend not to worry it doesn't have to be in the weekend it can be um, Wednesday Thursday you know but it's coming on to the end of the week that some of you could be having a conflict so not to worry what this conflicts is about you need to ask for inner guidance and protection because what is happening is as if the universe is awakening you to something that you were not aware of and you're seeing something for what it is that is playing out whoever is in a relationship love is going to be very powerful in this week love is going to be extremely positive some of you are realizing that this is the person who I want to be in some of you are realizing that this is the career that I want to do and this is going to be good whatever the conflicts is we need to ask for forgiveness and we need to ask people to forgive us for whatever the situation is and this is going to be good because what is going to be happening is that you are going to be saying you know that's okay and that sort of a thing and then you are going to be moving on okay we have the energy of um, no regrets and some of you and then um, some of you have the energy with the princess of cups so some of you are just uh, are, you know thinking now you know um because some of you will be walking away from this relationship and you're not going to have any regrets so um whatever the situation is it could be your sister that you're having a quarrel with or you could be moving out of the house because your sister has been annoying you or whatever the situation is is that um you have decided to move on so this um so if you Librans are in relationship with an, um, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion, you're going to really decide it. You know, let me release this person so that I can find my true love, and this person can find their true love. And it's going to be wonderful because um, sometimes is that you know that it's time to release a situation or someone, and then you accept it and you move on and ask for forgiveness and healing for whatever the karmatic situation was. Okay. Okay, we are going to be looking to see what other messages comes up to you. There's going to be endings. There is going to be endings. So some of you could be having romantic endings um, because here you're walking away um, in the beginning of the week. Some of you are deciding to leave a relationship behind. So there um, are, could be ending for it. some of you. On the other hand, um, there could be um, um, you know luck coming but very fast because with a wheel of fortune and this energy is that luck is coming but you know in a fast way so um be aware and align for it okay okay um i was about 
to say something else um okay wheel of fortune is here um you know good situation could be opening up in work for you guys um you yeah new work situation could be opening up for you guys and you have a strong foundation so if you're looking for work go out and spread your wings because the availability is here for you guys this is going to be wonderful um you have two major or corner um five whatever the conflicts is 88 is going to be your energy vibration so let's look we are calling up in the angels of abundance to ask what the liberants are going to be receiving in this week you liberants um the deservingness you liberants need to understand that you need to let the universe that know that you're deserving of what you're asking for so it says you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allows you to focus upon divine life purpose even if you can't yet realize your loving qualities trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you are okay you truly are so this is wonderful oh my gosh you liberals have gone over the time anyway namaste ladies and gentlemen till next week um have a wonderful week listen to your sun moon and rising sign it's very important all right bye